Hey everybody, I want to welcome my fellow Gentiles, my friends, my family, and strangers who are going to come across these videos who understand how important what's happening right now in this country and around the world, it's called the Great Awakening, how important it is. I know there's a few other um, Gentile people on online that are aware of this. Dana is one of them, uh, Seven Trumpets Prepper is one of them, um, There's just and there's a guy in Texas, I think he's a blonde hair guy. Uh, on a cowboy ranch or something like that. You've got a few few Gentile people who understand this awakening and understand how important it is that the Hebrew Israelites, which are the African American people here in this country, are the real actual people who wrote the Bible. They're their their ancestors. And when you understand that it's right on time that they're beginning to come to know who they are and surname themselves Israel. Then you realize that the Bible really is true. God is real. He does exactly what he says he's going to do. And that's why you're seeing all the changes happening so fast right now. All of it's written in prophecy ahead of time by these prophets, by these Hebrew Israelites. And so I want to encourage you guys to listen up because I'm going to feature different Hebrew Israelites in their teachings where you can Check out the facts yourself. You gotta ask yourself about these warnings. Are they if, if if God sent his own people into slavery on slave ships like he said he was gonna do, and they served harshly in a land that was not their their own for four hundred years, do you think that you're gonna get away with it? Do you say it doesn't matter who the Hebrew Israelites are? Or you think there's many ways to, to God besides following Yah and following Yeshua? So I want to just encourage you to take heed, take warning, and pick up your Bible. Open it up. It's the only book in the world that tells the, the future ahead of time. I want to challenge you to read it in context as you're listening to these Hebrew Israelites teach. So I'm going to encourage you to listen to them. Because if you take a look at these scriptures, these 66 books that we call the Bible, plus first Enoch, and you ask yourself, okay, who wrote the Bible? It wasn't white people. It wasn't the Roman Catholic Church. It was these these descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. And even the Gentiles who wrote in the Bible were followers of these, of these Hebrew Israelites. So those are the people who, now that they're awakening and they're teaching the Bible in context, they're leaving religion called Christianity. And they're really teaching the Bible properly in context. And this is an awesome opportunity for us Gentiles to gain understanding and to unite in spirit with our brothers and that we've been adopted into their family, their family. And we've been adopted in and it's been taught wrong through the Roman Catholic Church and through Protestantism for a long time. And I know some of you Gentiles know what I'm talking about. You're on board. So if you're on board, comment in the comment section down below. Give your support. Let's support our brothers and sisters in this Hebrew Israelite awakening. I know some of the Israelites don't think Gentiles can be saved, but I think there's a more, more uh, evidence that we can be grafted in, but we're grafted into their family and their laws and their ways. And so it's not up to us to say it doesn't matter who, who the Hebrew Israelites are or that Jesus Christ was a black man. That is not up to us to say that. So, um, I encourage you listen to born again Hebrew Israelites and, and gain understanding through their teaching because it's in their DNA. They're the ones who lived out, their ancestors lived out these curses and they still live them out today and, and they're oppressed in this land. And so God's second coming, Jesus Christ's second coming is going to be to regather all of his people out of the lands which he spread them into, into slavery. And if God sent his own people into slavery because they didn't obey the Ten Commandments. Don't go to a church anymore that says that you can disobey the Ten Commandments and that law is done away with. That They are teaching these scriptures out of context. That law is not done away with. And so today's, today's teacher is Apostle Curtis Lewis, 
and we've got several different teachings of his that we're going to go over and this is part one and so i want to welcome apostle curtis lewis who has helped me tremendously understand these scriptures and that's his wife Mel melva right there he's going to be talking on the ten commandments and he's going to be blowing the shofar and if you don't know what that is um uh, fellow gentiles please go check it out um do a bible search of the word shofar so you can understand how important it is when he's saying these words that you take them to heart and you open up your Bible and read it and read full chapters at a time so that you're reading in context. Okay. So I just want to encourage everybody. And again, if you're a fellow Gentile and you understand how important this is, please speak the truth to people. And if, especially if you're a pastor and you're a Gentile, you should absolutely be telling other people the truth about who the Hebrew Israelites are because it's a sin not to, and it does matter. And I will be debunking the, there is no Jew nor Greek because right after it says there's no male nor female. And you and I both know there is male and female, right? And there is no slave nor free. Well, guess what? When the Hebrew Israelites were slaves, I bet you would have thought there's a difference between slave and free then. So don't say that it doesn't matter who the Hebrew Israelites are or that Jesus Christ was black. That's how you can identify who they are because we have grown up in a country where we were told that another group of people were the Hebrew Israelites when actually... It's the, the African-Americans. So I hope you enjoy this teaching. And again, I've gotten a lot out of it. And so I want to just say bless true Israel, bless real Israel. And thank you, Apostle Curtis Lewis, for your teaching and your opening up the scriptures to our hearts and our minds. And let's all unite and um, support true Israel. Peace and blessings. So when we talk about the voice in the scriptures, nine times out of 10, Israel knew, and you should know, he's talking about the 10 commandments. He ain't talking about all the other laws that was added at this time. Because Paul said that the schoolmaster laws was added because of transgression. They transgressed in their heart first, and then with building that calf and broke the 10 commandments, and after they transgressed, the first set of laws, the voice, the Ten Commandments, heard our father speak with his great voice and rejected it, okay? And so that's when they got the schoolmaster. They, 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 the law was added because of transgression. They transgressed, and then they got all these other laws. But they requested that now. They asked for that, okay? And then they went about to establish themselves in all the laws, just like they're doing today, and never got this right. And y'all said, I'm not coming back to get y'all. Y'all may come to an awakening. You may wake up, but this is the prerequisite for me to come and get you. You're going to obey my voice. And so it's up to us. We're stubborn. We got some stubborn peoples in our, in our ethnicity. So y'all can be more stubborn than us. He said, okay, y'all want to be stubborn. Now y'all woke. Y'all know who you are. I done woke you up. But until you obey my voice, like I told you, Israel, you're going to stay right in the lands of your captivity. I'm going to show it to you. I'm getting there. But I want to establish this first before I get there. Okay? So these words the Lord spake unto all your assembly in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness with a great voice, and added no more. Y'all need to look at that. Added no more. Uh, I need a couple of people put that in the chat. He added no more. He did not give them no more but those 10. That needs to rest in your heart. And you need to get that right, right there. Because some people so deep, some of these Hebrews so deep. I love my people, but I got to tell the truth on them because I'm trying to help you. But some of you so deep that these little 10 commandments go right, right over your head. And you don't realize it's these 10 you got to get right first before you get anything else right. Because on this hang all the law and the prophet. This is the structure of love. And if you don't get no, this right, you will always stomach. And here's where Israel messed up. Thank you all, uh, Gary H. and um, everybody that's putting them in, Miss Helen, Paula. Thank all of you. Uh, he added no more. It's right there in the Torah. He only gave them 10 little commandments. And then in the, in the New Testament, he said, no, my commandments are not grievous. Why y'all tripping over this? And why y'all think y'all want a hundred and thousand of the laws and you ain't even got this little thing here right? 
And that's what he's telling us in this awakening. Okay, you want to be so deep, you're trying to force all the laws on everybody, and you ain't got this right, and your ancestors never did me right, right here. That's what Yah said. Hallelujah. So he said, these words the Lord spake unto all your assembly in the mount out of the midst of the fire of the cloud of the thick darkness with a great voice, and he added no more. And he wrote them on two tables of stones and delivered them unto me. Now, when you go to Jude in the scriptures in the new and you see Jude said, contend for the faith, which was once delivered to the saints. This is talking about right here when he spoke the faith, which was the Ten Commandments, the faith, the just shall live by the faith, not faith as in believing, the just shall live by the faith, the faith of God. That's what these Ten Commandments are. It is the righteousness of God. It is the right. It is the, the least of all commandments that Jesus was talking about in Matthew chapter five. It, it is the these commandments right here that Jesus came and this was his message. This You found him teaching this to the apostles and everybody. This is what he came to establish because this is what Israel had missed. And he said that he did. And then when, whenever he got through speaking them with that great voice and he got through writing them down, Moses delivered them unto the people, the saints. That was the Israelites. So this is the faith that was once delivered to the saints. And they, they told him, we don't want to do it. We don't want to hear him speak no more. And they rejected him. And I'm going to show you two scriptures that witness that it wasn't that they was just afraid of Yah. Yah told them how he was going to make his entry. They didn't want to do it. And Yah said, you won't do this. If you don't, you're going to stay in the lands of your captivity till y'all learn your lesson. I'm going to show it to you. We're going there. All right. Number two. Hallelujah. Number two. All right. The Messiah's message was the Ten Commandments. His message. And when you look for Matthews, Matthews, Mark, Luke, and John, this is what he was defending. This is what he always got on the Sadducees and the Pharisees about. This is what he come. He said, I come to keep my father's commandments. He said, you're going to live by every word that came out of his mouth. That was when Yah spoke personally himself before he started talking to Moses, giving him laws. He said, no, y'all going to respect what I said. And, and, and Yeshua came defending these 10 commandments. And then when the devil tried to tempt him and said, uh, all these things, all this power I'll give to you if you bow down and worship me. Yeshua got so upset with him. He said, get out of my sight. Get thee hence, Satan. He said, you shall, it is written, you worship the Lord thy God and him only shall I serve. Got on the devil too. Where did that come from? The Ten Commandments. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Yeshua came to get on them about disrespecting the Ten Commandments. They did everything else. They was trying to keep every other law. They even made other laws, but they never respected Yah right here. And Yah said, Y'all going to get this right. It's on you, what you do. And so when Yeshua came, his message was the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Let's look and see. All right, Malachi 3, verse 1. Here's a prophecy about the coming Messiah, but, and, but there was going to be a forerunner by the name of John the Baptist. And when we look at the book of Matthew in the Gospels, we see John came and introduced the Messiah. But watch what Malachi said about uh, the coming Savior. Behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. Well, we know that messenger was John the Baptist. He came uh, before the Messiah and he prepared the way. He, he uh, introduced him to Israel and uh, 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 John was doing baptism for repentance because there's one coming after me that's uh, mightier than me. He was introducing the Messiah. So Malachi said, behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, Yeshua, Jesus, the one whom you seek, okay, shall suddenly come to his temple. Y'all know when he came in that temple, he tore up some stuff and he ran them out, whipped them out the temple. Hallelujah. And it says, he shall suddenly come to his temple. Now watch this, even the messenger of the covenant, even the messenger of the covenant. What was Yeshua? The messenger of the covenant. Well, let's back up again. What is the covenant? Here it is right here. 
Exodus 34, 28. And he was there with the Lord 40 days, 40 nights. And he did, did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables of the word, uh, the tables, the words of the covenant, the 10 commandments. That's the covenant. So when Yeshua came, he's the messenger of the covenant. So when you go to the uh, scriptures in the new, you see him preaching the covenant. When he got through training all the apostles, all their epistles was based on the covenant. All of them, every last thing, one of them. They preached and taught what he taught. They did not go around like the people trying to establish law, statutes, and judgments, forcing things on people, forcing this on people. No, all of those apostles just preached the royal law, the covenant, in all their epistles. That's what they preached. And they they demanded that, uh, or they said that you must be born again. Once you're born again, these laws put in you, and they taught them in all their epistles. This is what they taught. Now, if we got some Hebrews smarter than the apostles, smarter than Yeshua, and say, oh, no, 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 you got to do all this other stuff. John, Apostle John, in 2 John chapter 2, verse 9 down to verse 11, he said, these peoples are evil if they come say anything other than these apostles said, even though they're teaching laws. They're teaching everything they see, but he said, if you bid them God speak, you partakers of their evil deeds, because they was establishing a message, and it was the law of Yah. That's what Yah wanted everybody to focus on. But everybody trying to focus on everything but this right here. And Yah said, I ain't coming back to get y'all out of these nations until y'all listen to me right here. I'm going to show it to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So in this awakening, we just like some of us, just like our ancestors, we don't get it. And we get mad when somebody tell us how simple this thing is. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited. He said, Matthew 3, verse 1, Behold, I send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant. That was going to be his message, and that was the message he taught. Did he keep the custom? Yes, he did. Did he, keep, did he wear fringes? Yes, he did. Did he do all the stuff under Moses' law? Yes, he did. You don't see him preaching it. Nothing but the covenant. Period. Hallelujah. So if we're going to be like him, we got to preach the message he preached. But what, what many people are doing in this awakening, they preaching what they think they need to preach. And when you try to correct some of them, they want to get rebellion, just like our ancestors.